Okay. I almost bricked my amulet yesterday. So after I awakened awakened orbs, it I hit a bad prefix and I beast annulled it. And then I went on to uh, craft prefixes cannot be changed with an open prefix. I thought, and this is where I fucked up, I thought it would not add a prefix if I chaos orbed it. I thought it would only change the suffixes. That's where I fucked up. On my first attempt, I saw no added prefixes, so I was like, okay, cool. On my second attempt, I saw the ES on there. I was like, my heart stopped. I was like, why is there a prefix on there? Why is there a third prefix? I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I was about to brick this amulet for a fourth time. Well, not this specific amulet. It's just like an awakened amulet for the fourth time. I got so fucking lucky and hit ES on it, even though it's pretty low in comparison to the 20% that I wanted initially from crafting. I'm fine with it. I'll make a better amulet in the future. I want to focus on other things though. Like if I get at series reflection with this amulet, I'll be fine. Like, I'll be fine. I have plenty of decks. Holy shit, though. I almost fucked up super badly. That's it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Just an update on the amulet. I got fucking lucky. I got fucking lucky. I still need to re-roll it. I definitely do still need to re-roll it. Uh, I could do that now. I could do that now. How many? Yeah. Reroll the values of prefix, suffix, and implicit. With lucky modifiers. Yeah, I really want to hit that 10% ES or uh, fire penetration. Uh, I wish I had more though. Let me do this so. Let me equip you. There we go. No, not crafting portable. Okay. okay. All I want is 10% ES and 10% penetration for fire. That's all I want. That's all I care about. Like, the others are nice, but it's okay. Alright, reroll the values of prefix, suffix, and implicit on a rare item. Definitely on that one. Alright, let's reroll. Okay, so I hit 9-9. Nine, nine. Let's try that again. Reroll the values of prefix, suffix, and implicit. Okay, perfect. I got 10-10. 25 strength and intelligence, 53 dex. I don't care about the cold resistance. Okay, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I should do a blessed orb on it. I should do a blessed orb on it and get the implicit to 24. Okay. So 30 to strengthen intelligence, plus 1 to all intelligence. Damage penetrates 10% fire resistance. 10% increased maximum energy shield, 63 dex. Nice. Very nice. 
All right, let's redo this implicit. All right, I'm using blessed orb. There we go. All right. That is gonna be my amulet. Hold on, let me, let me fix this. Whoops, I did not mean to do that, there we go. There we go. Okay, nice, very nice. Very nice. The decks could be too higher, but it does not matter. It does not matter. All I cared about was damage penetrates, 10% fire resistance, and the ES. That's all I cared about. 191 strength, 237 decks. Oh, those attributes opened me up to so many easier things. Way easier crafts than I need. Like, I don't need to fracture gloves anymore. I don't need to fracture the- well... With this glove in particular, it hit two, uh, two tier 1 ES mods. So I do want to fracture this. I definitely do want to fracture this. Just to hit the ES mods. If I hit dex, then it's just like, uh... I'd rather hit the ES so I have a better, easier time to hit triple ES. That's that's all I want. That's all I want. Okay. Okay, very nice. Let me end it here. Let me go do the recording for the stream drops.